And welcome back to the morning show. Zealous is here with us this morning. We've just got a, we're just having a little bit of fun. Uh, this is something that goes on at, uh, at uh, Tarzan's at the Golden Nugget every Wednesday, or for the next two Wednesdays anymore. You might want to uh, get down there and check it out. You got some more things you're going to do? I sure am. Oh, okay. Now remember, now you're not going to say, you're not going to do anything when I say the word Tarzan anymore. That's all gone, but deep sleep now, deep sleep now. This lady whose shoulder I'm touching right here on the count of five when you open your eyes, you're going to see the camera right in front of you. You're going to walk within five feet of this camera, you're going to stare into the lens, and you can see the most amazing thing on the other side of the lens. On the count of five, this lady will show up to me. Walk within about, is that three feet okay for you guys? Walk within three feet of the camera lens in front of you, and as you look into the lens, you can see an amazing sight on the other side of that lens. One, two, three, four, five. Check it out right there. It's going to be incredible. Get within about three feet, but don't touch the camera. And look right into the lens, and you can see some, such an amazing sight. And describe to us what you see when you look into the lens. Here we go, right about there. I see a silver and blue and a diamond in the middle. I watch this when I snap my fingers. You can see other people watching the TV at home. Isn't that incredible? Uh -huh. <laughs> They're a little too close. Whose house I watch? Every time I snap my finger, you look to a different house. Mm. Hi. They went back to you? Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. Let's go to another person's house. Oh, yeah, they're watching TV in their underwear. Oh, oh no. <laughs> and have, have a seat for me back on stage. Thank you very much. Yeah, and, and once you sit on, on the stage there, deep sleep. Okay, and let's lay your hand in the kind of five. Open your eyes. One, two, three, four, five. Let's your hand for a second. Watch my eyes real loose. Watch my eyes now. Watch my eyes. You can go down real deep now, real deep. Sleep. Deep sleep now. Deep sleep now, way down, way down, deeper and deeper, 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 way down, way down, deep sleep now, deep sleep now, deep sleep now, and deep sleep. Hey, I'm going to count from one to five, and the count of five, you're the host of the morning show, and you can talk to the camera and tell everybody what's happening and what's new, and you can get like the morning, the morning traffic report and the weather of one, two, three, four, five. Hey, the host of the new morning, new host of the morning show right here. Go. Welcome back, TV2. It's a hot one out there. That is the weather. Every day, all day, hot. That is incredible. How's traffic? Cut, cut. Can you cut here? <laughs> that is incredible. Traffic? There's no traffic. We live in Laughlin. We have very little traffic. Yeah, no, no, okay. okay well, well, stop I think you can tell us about this incredible new hypnotist at the Golden Nugget. If you all been to the Golden Nugget, you have to see this hypnotist. He does everything. What he can't do? It's amazing. He's amazing. Isn't he amazing, Bruce? But you don't believe in hypnosis. I do now. <laughs> yeah, okay. You do now, don't you? Okay. Watch this. Let me see this for one second. Lean back in your chair. Stuck to the chair. Back, leg stuck to the chair. Try as hard as you can to get out of the chair. The harder you try to get out of the chair, the tighter you're stuck. Look at this. Here's $20. Would you like that? Here. It's right over here. Come on over here. Here's the amazing thing. What's keeping her in the chair? Just the power of her own mind, which shows you that if reality is very subjective. If you absolutely believe you can't do something, then you won't be able to do it because your mind will prevent you from doing it. On the other hand, if you believe you can do something, you can do it. your mind will do everything it can to help you do it. You're not stuck. Stand up. There you go. Here you go. Have a seat from right there. Sleep. Deep sleep. I'm going to count from one to five. On the count of five, this lady, every time I say the words hypnosis, you're going to stand up and say as loud as you can, it's amazing. Well, this lady right here on the count of five, every time you say the words hypnosis, you're going to stand up and say, Gold Nugget Casino. Both of you on the count of five, open your eyes, but keep your eyes closed to the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Now, the reason the eyes are relaxed is hypnosis. Golden Nugget. Hypnosis, it's amazing. The Golden Nugget. Well, thank you. I'm glad you guys agreed, but have a seat for me, please. Yeah. <laughs> Was, man, you know, you try to do an interview on TV and they get up to interrupt it just because, you know, the hypnosis. It's amazing. Why, thank you very much, both of you. And sleep, 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 sleep. And now this lady right here owns a video store. Correct. On the count of five, this lady whose shoulder I'm touching, you want, you are, want to get a, a bill passed in Laughlin banning video stores because you think videos are harmful. One, two, three, four, five, open your eyes. Now, we're, we're doing an interview with this lady right here who has a position on videotapes, video stores. What do you think? Video stores are wonderful. I own a video store. When I snap my fingers, you can't stand video stores. 
video stores should be outlawed. They should. Why is that? Because they're very bad for children. They are. So every video store in Laughlin should be shut down immediately? Yeah, today. Today. Okay, well, that's very interesting. And sleep. And deep sleep now. And deep sleep now. Of course, she's saying that because she's been hypnotized. And deep sleep now. She's going to probably kill you after the oh, show's over, isn't she? Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Just stick me with a fork. I'm Both done. Both of you take a deep breath. And way down, way down, way down. Okay, I'm going to count four to five. You're going to act like you're third graders. You're not going to go back time you were in third grade, but you're going to act like third graders. I'm your teacher. Every time I turn my back, you you don't like me. I give you a lot of homework, so make the funniest faces you can at me. On the count of five, you're going to act like third graders. Make the funniest faces you can at me when I turn my back on you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, class, I'm going to put today's lesson on the board for everybody here. Now I want you to read chapters one through five in the history of dirt. What a well-behaved class, you know? I wish all my kids were this well-behaved. The History of Dirt by I Am Digging. And I want a... I want a 500-word essay. That's a History of Dirt, and both of you sleep, sleep. Okay, and way down, way down. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Do you have time for a couple more things? Sure, go ahead. Okay. I'm going to count for one to five, and the count of five is the most incredible thing you've ever seen in your life, because in the count of five, everybody in the studio, except for you and myself, are completely naked. One, two, three, four, five. Check out the suit. This poor one's got to work with you guys now. Now, why are these people naked? What kind of, what kind of station is this? I don't know. I just started here, but it's crazy. Do they always show up like this? I don't need this much information. <laughs> no, they never had before, but oh, no. Patrick, cover up. <laughs> and both of you sit back in your chair and sleep, sleep. <laughs> and both of you deep sleep. You know, think to yourself, what could possibly be worse than that? <laughs> I know. Watch this. Okay, on the count of five, they have all their clothes on. One, two, three, four, five, deep sleep, deep sleep. But on the count of five, when you open your eyes, the bas back of my pants are missing, and I forgot to wear underwear today. One, two, three, four, five. Open your eyes. Hey, you guys having a good time up here? Uh-huh. It's very relaxing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, during that last bit, I could have swore I dropped a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> What? Did you see my nickel? No, I saw an electrician. <laughs> I, I could have swore it was over here somewhere. <laughs> and both of you sleep, sleep, deep sleep. Now the back of my pants are back on. That was pretty bad, wasn't it? There's an image that's going to be etched in their memory for a while. And both of you take a deep, deep breath in. And deep sleep now, deep sleep now, way down, way down, way down. On the count of five, this woman whose hand I'm touching, you're visiting from Mars, you speak nothing but Martian. This woman whose shoulder I'm touching, the count of five, you're the only person on the face of the earth who can interpret Martian to English. One, two, three, four, five. Both of you, there you go. We have a visitor from Mars. Will the visitor from Mars raise her hand? Oh, there she is. Now, is there anybody out there who can interpret Martian English? Anybody? Nobody at all? Right back there, Zell. Oh, you can? Oh, that is so lucky. Would you ask her in Martian how long it took her to get from Mars to Earth? Long time. What did she say? She said long time. Long time? Ask her of all places, why Laughlin? You speak only Martian? So I can speak. What did she say? She said she didn't understand my um, dialect. Oh, maybe it's a different Martian dialect. I guess. Ask her this. Ask her if is it true? Is there casinos on Mars? But uh, no, I know the answer is yes. But ask her anyhow. Is there rock and roll on Mars? <laughs> Tell her when I count to three, I want her to sing a, sing me a rock and roll song in Martian. One, two, one, two, three, go. Okay, ask, ask her to stop for me. I know for a fact that Martians have a great sense of humor, and when you interpret this joke, she's going to find this the funniest thing she ever heard in her life. 
This is a setup, this isn't the punchline. Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? 